I hurt myself today. It's Black Hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. So before we get into the inevitable pain and torture that this video is surely going to cause me, my stomach, and possibly my bomb, uh, I want to just say a big shout out to those who bought merch. Uh, means the world to me. Y'all are real ones. And um, I use this company and I think it's a good one, but I personally have never seen the product. So I ordered myself a few shirts and yes, I will be wrapping for myself because if you don't believe in yourself, then who else will? Mine just came in the mail. I just kind of wanted to do a quick little unpackaging and just inspect the quality of the product and uh, chuck it on and just see what's up with it. So it does come nice in this uh, cute little bag, custom made just for you, Bonfire. So shout out Bonfire. It's been an amazing experience working with their website because I honestly feel like it's just, it's so good. It just, it's so easy, like, it's so user-friendly. Alright, so we got my two colors. Hey, yo. So I got the orange. I don't even know if this orange is really my vibe, but every time I was making these designs on the uh, on the website, I just I was always like, I could just picture myself wearing orange, like the orange one. And obviously I got the little cute baby blue boy. Periwinkle purple. I don't know what you want to call it, but I definitely got that one because... I like these little, these nice little cute colors, you know what I mean? Uh, but the orange one's gonna be good for like some little, it's like, you know, it's Halloween, it's October, it's fall. I gotta look like I am of the leaves. I'm camo leaf guy. So anyways, I wanna unfold them. Oh, hello, sir. Okay, so I got some extra larges cause I like my shirts to fit like nice and kind of long and dangly, but we'll see how big Oh, it seems pretty pretty big. Oh, nice. So the quality is good. The quality is nice. Feels like it'll maintain through the wash. And this large or this extra large is looking like pretty extra large. So the sizing would indicate that like I would say not true to fit. I would say probably. A little over your regular maybe but I'll track this on and see yeah so yeah I did pre-plan the uh, the hunter fall green hat with the orange look but yo now that I have it on I can actually say it fits true to size like if you're a large you'll be a large this is XL it's fitting like on my body how an XL does it's like a perfect size so boom got the long sleeve and then I do like how the cuffs come like tight. They have that nice tight end. Cause a lot of times I'll buy long sleeves and they have like kind of like more loose end and it kind of like, they stretch out and they get kind of like, you know, hang out like sleeve of wizard. So they, uh, these don't hang like sleeve of wizard. These like tuck in nice and tight. And then the arms got a little extra on it. So yeah, it's good. Do I look jacked in it? No, cause I'm not. I don't work out at all okay so anyways <sighs> let's move forward into pain and torture see you there all right well 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 what up world we're finally doing it today I'm finally putting on my big boy undies and going in for some times two spicy nudes you know nothing like sitting down to a nice steamy hot pile of pain and torture however it is not quite that yet it's noodles right now but once we add these suckers in we become into the devil realm the realm unknown well you know what i do kind of know of it because i've been watching people on youtube do it and it's, it's like it's not it's not i'm not it's not for me not really this kind of guy because me and spice ain't nothing nice like i am not good at handling this so okay yep lucifer's blood hello nice to meet you i've heard actually that the flavoring on this is really quite delightful until it starts stabbing you with diseased needles in your mouth and if i'm completely truly real why it's taken me so long to do this 
is because I just feel like I every time I would go to do it, I'd be like, do I have a day and a half to spare of pain? First, it's the mouth. Then I'm going to have to like writhe around in pain in my gut, which is why I actually I brought the Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> And we're gonna prep with that. That's we're getting we're getting we're coating the stomach to start. Um, you can call me what you want. I'm preparing for this. I don't even care. And then you know I gotta pass it out the uh, the old chili ring, if, if you will. So uh, you know I though that's gonna be also very painful. But uh, let's spin it up. Let's get it incorporated. What else is gonna make this brutal is that my chopstick skills are that of a grade two cat dog with no thumbs. So that's uh, gonna make this extra interesting because it's gonna go in slow and sloppy. As you can may well tell, and I can smell these spices getting in there. This feels like an appropriate time for that Johnny Cash song. I hurt myself today. And then tomorrow it's ring, ring, ring of fire. <laughs> so I don't care. I'm going in. I also got some ice cream, vanilla, and tell me why I think peanut butter is going to help me. I don't know. I also got questions from the audience. You guys, uh, we're going to do this hot one style. So I got 66 questions. I don't think I'll be able to get to them all. But uh, I'm going to start from the bottom up and we'll see. So bottoms up. Precautions for the holiday season. I just, I need my belly to be coated. That's what's happening. So, I'm just gonna crack this ice cream because I know I'm gonna need it. <laughs> and peanut butter, I don't know, for some reason I feel like the, if it gets real bad, it's gonna save me, so. And we go. Shaking like a leaf, I'm terrified. Mind over matter, mind over matter. I am limb off, I am limb off. Mm -mm. <laughs> it's immediately spicy. And they do not taste that good. Like somebody said. All right. Just Jace Official. Why isn't your music on any streaming services, bro? It is now. Oh, no. It's... Spotify every, <coughs> everywhere. It's already so bad. Um, it's in all of my links in my description. You can just get to it from there. Melissa Mendez, what made you start a YouTube channel and fully commit to it? I did it because I loved ASMR. I found ASMR. And all I ever wanted to do was give back to the community. And then... I actually started cultivating a good amount of a following and uh, the devil has entered the chat. Um, I just, I saw the opportunity and it was just really fun and uh, I love doing it. It's just so fun. But I saw the potential. I swallowed it wrong. I swallowed. Ow, oh, it hurts. It's razor blades. I saw the potential of the freedom it could give me. Uh, Unbreakable8891. Shout out to you, brother. We've had some chats. What regularly inspires you when you write lyrics? Stay true from Oslo, Norway. Shout out Oslo. I would love to come to Oslo. I want to go to Norway. Okay. Um, I generally write from my experiences in life, um, mainly um, just emotional shit that I'm going through. It's the type of stuff that I like to do, to write. I'm crying. Um, uh, 
but basically I just find melodies through randomness and then I, uh, I plug in words and emotions and feelings and that part of it is a therapy for my soul. Ooh. Okay. What is your ultimate dream? My ultimate dream is to escape from this alive uh, and also make a good living, be financially comfortable and self-sufficient off of what I love to do and have people appreciate my art, namely music, my music. Oh, do I smoke weed daily? No. Ooh, I don't smoke weed at all. Oh, I thought for a while there it was getting better and I could like really just handle it. But now it's building. <laughs> I'm trying to do this without any help of these things, but I want some ice cream so bad right now. What's really hard is because it's so hot, and then, oh, the actual heat of the thing, of the food, physical heat, makes you activate more on the palate. What's the hardest drug you've ever, uh, okay, in my bed, Brina, what's the hardest drug you've ever done? I don't know what's harder, MDMA or, MDMA or cocaine, but I've done both. Don't do drugs. Well, I mean, I can't say that. They're not that bad if you do them right. I need ice cream. That has to happen right now. Oh, sweet relief. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so much better. Okay. I do do this. Uh, Steven Decker, why did you stop racing? And what class did you ride? Also, what did you ride? I was a Yamaha guy. Um, he's referring to motocross. I raced motocross for like 10 years of my life. I mainly stopped racing because I moved to Toronto and I didn't have my bike. And you can't really even do it there, so... So that's why I stopped. Still ride though to this day. Oh my god. Coming back from the ice cream is twice as painful. Oh my god. Holy fuck. Uh, this is temporary though. It's also temporary. Um, what class did I ride? I got up to like intermediate or B class in the States. Pretty fast, but not a pro, not an A rider, but like uh, like skilled. And then I rode a KTM 450. Well, I rode everything growing up, but two strokes, four strokes, everything. But do I play any video games or console or PC? I don't play any video games. <sighs> Oh my god, this is so bad. It's the build. What is the best mic for ASMR and what inspired you to do ASMR? Uh, the best mic obviously seems like the Blue Yeti, but who knows whatever works for you also. Oh my god, this is so bad. What inspired me was I had anxiety, found ASMR, and all I want to do is to, to make something to give back to people with anxiety. Have I ever been hunted? No. I can't read the names because I need to just get through these. Oh, what are the top three things that annoy you about other YouTubers who do ASMR mukbang? This is from Dom. Shout out Dom. What up, buddy? Uh, I'm dying right now. Uh, I just... Um, I don't know if there's anything about ASMR people that really bug me because ASMR it's like it's so subjective and weird and whatever like 
I feel like ASMR is like so broad and you can do anything in it. But mukbangers, this is what I hate, is people who waste food buy ridiculous spreads to eat like almost none of it all just so they can attract I don't know a child into the thumbnail because it looks insane or whatever and then it's just it's so like just so sell out because this mukbang started like in Asia where people would actually eat massive amounts of food oh the ice cream makes it so much worse you guys this is no joke I don't know how Sauce Queen did this the way she did it oh my god Ooh wee. Um, another thing that annoys me is just like really loud fake personalities. Watch the eyes, watch the eyes. Light up the eyes, boys. Light up the eyes. If anybody knows that reference, shout out to you. I love you. Oh, let's try peanut butter. Okay. Um, oh, and the third thing is when like, um, just they have no personality and they're boring <laughs> or that I don't know they're just too too insane or not too insane but they're too like crazy with the food it's like chill out it's not that good like it's good but <sighs> I guess that's what people want to see Oh, the minor moments of relief are like so good. What's your favorite all time shoe and why? I don't have an all time favorite shoe. I just, I'll say this as of late in my life, I really like Adidas. Like, this is how I'm using chopsticks now. I don't care. Ah, fuck, it's so bad. Oh my god. Uh, just these new Adidas. It's like these new generation Adidas. Like what I have on. These. I like, I just love the profile of these shoes. Uh, what's your favorite movie genre? I like, uh, I like dramas a lot. Or, well, sci-fi. No, not sci-fi. See, this does really throw you off. Hot oh, one, this would be a crazy show. Um. Holy shit. Um, thrillers. Psycho thrillers. Mind game thrillers. But also drama. With good dialogue. I love dialogue. I'm a sucker for dialogue. That's why I talk so fucking much. Uh, one of my most afraid of, not sure if I've ever answered this before, but I thought I'd give it a shot. You know what? That's a really good question, and I think it, that warrants a whole entire video dedication because i want to elaborate on that so i will answer that eventually avarice just not right now hmm. if i wasn't so bad oh oh this dude really asked it like an interviewer aman and so black hoodie you made it past Halfway in the spicy noodles. Mm, I haven't quite made it that far, I don't think. Now, since you make music too, if you had to pick one career path, a famous YouTuber with millions of subscribers or a platinum selling rapper who drinks lean for breakfast and wipes his ass with all our bills, which one would you pick? Oh man, that's so hard to not want to be the lean rapper, the dollar bill ass guy. Uh, but I don't want to be like a famous thug rapper and anything weird like that, so I'll just, I'll pick the YouTuber, the successful YouTuber. I'm not really trying to be about like being a hard rapper. I just like making music and art. Okay, we're doing a peanut butter vanilla blend. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got the sauce up here from my eyes, from my, from my cloth. Oh, there's something about the stuff activates. It's not nice. Mmm. Uh, I try. Anna says, do you want to hang out? Yes, of course I do. I love you, Anna. You've been 
been such a real one since the day we met. Mm. Do you smoke marijuana since it's legal in Canada? Uh uh. Just because I can't, I don't like it. Maria, Mariella Delgado asks, who are some of your favorite musicians and bands? Um, I love Kid Cudi. Uh, I like The Weeknd a lot. Um, anything ambient and chill and kind of depressing? Is where I land. If you had the option of collaborating, <laughs> no, with any music artist, who would it be? Kid Cudi, hands down. No, no questions asked. Oh my god. Or you know what? Post, Post Malone, too. One of the two. But Cudi, because Cudi's more more legendary. Uh, I don't know if it's from the napkin. Or it's just like every bite is slowly but surely like going higher into my fucking face with the spice, but like under my eyes are legitimately oh, tingling with so much pain. If you were granted, oh, Krista, hello, Krista. <laughs> if you were granted three wishes, what would you wish for? And you could only, and if you could only use one condiment for the rest of your life on everything, what would it be? Okay, the condiment is mayo. I know it's a weird answer, maybe, but I just love mayo. I I love burgers. I can't envision the rest of my life not having a burger with mayo on it. Mm. No, 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 no. Okay, my three wishes: a plane ticket to Cali. Um. Uh, I don't even know. Wishes are so hard. But since you never specified, one wish would be for more wishes. I think that's a universal rule that you're not allowed to do that, but... You never specified, so fuck it. I'm asking for more wishes. And then on top of that, I'm just asking for some crazy shit. But maybe I'd wish to be invincible because... Or not invincible, invisible. I feel like if you're invisible... You know what? I'd wish to be invisible and fly. That's two things. Invisibility and fly. Because with invisibility and flying, I could literally get anything I want in the world. No questions asked. I'd be dipping in and out of banks and traveling the globe. Actually, would, would I wait, even? Wait, why would I even say banks? I wouldn't need money for anything. I just fly anywhere I want and go invisible. I could grab a new car, go invisible. Whatever, I could steal anything, go invisible. I do anything, go invisible, and fly somewhere. Like you can't catch me, so I'd be fly invisible, man. Those are my two wishes. And then the third wish would be a plane ticket to Cali, even though I'd be flying. So this makes no sense. Okay. Was there ever a time where you feel completely alone and worthless in life? Buddy. <laughs> Every day of my life. Not really, but yeah, I've had those kind of moments. Let's be honest, we are all alone, like technically. All you ever have is yourself, really. But no, I've never felt alone. Like I have people that I know that care for me, so like that's fine. Uh, in terms of worth, <coughs> worthless, no, not worthless. I feel like I have a lot of value and things to give and and do and achieve and become and, and and things to share. So I have worth. It's just for me, I've felt frustrated by I can't seem to get where I want to get. 
in regards to my worth, in regards to what I know I'm capable of and what I know I could be, what level I could reach. And I just, I get frustrated, frustrated with the universe or the powers that be. And I'm just like, what, like, why, like, what is this? Like, I'm trying so hard here. Why can't I get, why can't I break through these doors? So there's that. What is your guilty pleasure song to listen to? Yo, straight up. You guys are going to die. That's a good question. I'm such a cheese ball. Straight up. <laughs> Coming Clean by Hilary Duff. Let the rain fall down and wake my dreams. Let it wash away my sanity. <laughs> Cause I wanna feel the thunder I wanna scream <laughs> Yeah So good Yeah I love I have to, Like something sonic <sighs> Sonically about that song I love I also had a huge cross on Hillary back in Lizzie McGuire days Okay I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. This is slow and steady when it's a race. It's slow torture though. It's such slow torture. I'm so glad I coated my stomach. Because if and I got nothing going on down there yet. Okay, the next question is my favorite. Off the top of your head, give me your three favorite moments in the three ninjas ninjas movie. Oh, Moments, the whole movie is a moment. And it's one of my favorite movies ever. I've seen it like hundreds of times. But uh, if I had to say moments, uh, <laughs> probably, probably just everything, man. Like, I got some good news and some bad news. The good news is <laughs> the babysitter just creamed the hurt, sorry. The delivery guy just creamed the babysitter in the face with the pizza. Awesome. The bad news is they're carrying guns. <laughs> and then in that same scene, like, ow, ow. And then when he's on the shitter, he's like, not the stomach, not the stomach. <laughs> he smashes him with, like, the, the boar head. And then, light up the eyes, boys. Light up the eyes when they're like trying to face the big Japanese guy he's like come on you little bits and I don't even know what he says he says like bitch but bets he's like come on my little bits and then they fucking they ding ding they light up the eyes <sighs> never attack unless you're gonna win and unless we do <laughs> don't climb a tree that's full of thorns Ugh. Grandpa. <laughs> wow. You know what's making me delirious. I'm telling you. I'm on a spice high. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Michelle Rogers asks, do you listen to podcasts? If so, what are your favorite ones? I do. I love podcasts. Like my favorite way to pass time or do chores to, to them or at work. I used to listen to them religiously to get through the shift. And uh, my favorites are, I just love Joe Rogan podcast. And I love uh, King and the Sting. The Theo Vaughn, Brendan Schaub. I wasn't a huge fan of Schaub at first, but he's grown on me. Feels absolutely hilarious. The guy kills me. His on the fly improvis improvisational sayings, like about shit, like his observational humor on the fly is amazing. Like so good. He's so talented at that. Probably those two. Okay, I'm going to call it right there because I'm in a world of hurt 
I try my best, but I'm not gonna finish these. I can just, it's too much, it's too painful. I can't do it. And then I'll save, I probably have another uh, half the list of questions and uh, I'll answer them in the next video that I'm gonna do of this, I'm gonna do 10 chicken wings. And my sister's gonna ask me a question. If you guys wanted my sister in another video, I don't know, I thought I'll do a hot ones with chicken wings. 10 wings. This sauce again. Stupid. And my sister as an interviewer. Oh my god. I don't know why anybody would do this for real. Like, to eat them. Like, who actually would eat these and be like, this is great. This is a good time. This is fun. I'm having a good, fun life. Because it's not. <sighs> Alright, well, my life's going to suck for a while now. So, you better have enjoyed that one. Till the next one, eat good, live well, stay true.